Hey YouTube, Papa here. Told you some stuff was coming. What you're looking at is my new Savage 110 Tactical and 6.5 Creedmoor. I took a job with the uh, Census Bureau this last summer and they ran some bonus deals and I qualified for all the bonuses. So, hang on a second, car's going by. Anyway, the rifle is sitting on top of a stump in our front yard that uh, got hit, the tree got hit by lightning a little bit over a year ago. And we've been trying for a couple of months to uh, get it chopped down because we didn't want it falling on the house because it was a big one. It was uh, about 80 feet tall. And uh, the bonus money paid to get the tree chopped down. And figured it was appropriate to throw these two things together. Um, I got a really good deal on the rifle. At least what I think is a good deal, especially these times. Um, including shipping... FFL transfer fee and a rebate. My out of pocket cost for the rifle was uh, $554, which I thought was a smoking deal. I threw on a uh, VG6 Epsilon 6.5. Uh, compensator, muzzle brake, whatever you want to call it. The barrel is, is threaded uh, 5 8 24 and it's 24 inches long and it is um, I, no, I can't think of the word for it but it's got the cuts in the barrel to lighten it. No, I don't really care. In fact, I wish they hadn't but that's the way it came. Um, the stock is the uh, Savage Accu stock, which has a uh, an aluminum chassis molded into the stock that runs the full length of the handguard back and underneath the um, the action. Um, it comes with the, the big old monster bolt handle, and it takes AICS magazines. It comes with one 10 round mag pole. And it's also the Accu stock. Or, no, it's the, uh, what do they call it? The Fit stock or Accu Fit stock or, or something. Anyway, I thought it was pretty neat because it, it gives you different. You can adjust the length of pull and the comb height. And I thought, well, that would be neat. I was wrong because it sucks. Because if you have the. Anything higher than what's on it right now, you have to take the whole buttstock apart to use a cleaning rod to clean the gun. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, some of you may recognize that Bushnell scope I've got up there. It's a four and a half to twenty-seven uh, forge uh, first focal plane. Uh, it's a thirty millimeter tube. It's uh, It's mill mill. I can't remember the name that they call the uh, the um, the reticle, but it's basic Christmas tree type reticle. With, and the uh, scope has one tenth click mill adjustments. Um, the parallax adjustments on the left side, elevations on the right, and I got a vortex uh, level on it. Uh, the rifle comes with an EGW 20 MOA rail on it already, so that was nice. Um, it's got a 1.8 twist barrel, and I haven't shot it yet. <laughs> For a while there after my surgery, I couldn't even pick up the rifle because it was over my weight limit. Uh, it comes in right at about, as you see it, I say 14 pounds so 
compared to you know some of the big boy chassis and stuff it's it's a lot lighter um we'll see how well it shoots but the butt pad on it's real nice and i got this to replace my 30-06 because i just can't take the recoil anymore of that 30-06 it's just not any fun to shoot so hopefully this will be a little bit lighter recoil and a lot more fun to shoot but I've got a whole bunch of uh, test loads loaded up, ready to go. I've got 27 rounds. I loaded up some 123 grain bullets and Varget. So it's not anything that's going to burn the barrel out, but it's going to help me break the barrel in. And then I'm shooting, um, I've got three different powders. I've got 43, uh, H4350 Hodgdon. I've got Winchester um, 6.5. Uh, Stayball or Stayball 6.5, whatever it is. And then I got another Hodgson Powder H. It's a hybrid uh, 100V uh, powder. And the uh, Stayball and the H100V are supposed to be able to get a little bit more velocity out of it than the uh, H4350. So we'll see how it goes. And I've got two different bullets. I've got the um, Hornby uh, ELB Match 147 grain. And I've also got some um, Barnes um, match burner, 145 grain bullets that I'm going to try. The um, BC on the Barnes is 0 0.71 or something like that. Really high bullet coefficient. So I figured I'd give it a try. And besides that, they were a lot less expensive than the Hori ELBMs. So we'll see what we get. Hopefully, between the two bullets and three different powders, I'll be able to come up with several combinations of accurate loads for the rifle. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just waiting for some decent weather. All we've had down here in the south has been rain. And uh, it's supposed to rain again tonight. So I figured I'd get this done. I'm shooting this on Saturday afternoon. So... There's one of the 6.5s that I'm going to be doing here real soon. And the other one is my 6.5 Grindle uh, AR. We got a new barrel. I had to send the other one back in because it wouldn't do any better than... It wouldn't do one MOA, and they guaranteed one MOA. So they stuck a new barrel on there for me, and we'll see how it shoots now. i got to break that one in, too, so I've got test loads for that. I got lots of test loads because that's all I could do after my surgery. So, and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. I'm rambling. Y'all have a good day. If you have any questions, comments, post it down below. I appreciate your time. Y'all take care. And remember, keep smiling. It makes people wonder what the hell you've been up to. Take care, you two.